Not Your Professional Walkthroughs Channel presents... Well, by the looks of it, I definitely need to get for Miss Charm a better poem, cause this is just horrible. Anyhow, welcome everyone to another episode of Graveyard Keeper here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host Max. On today's episode, we will be chasing after the NPCs of the game. Specifically, tomorrow, I will be talking to the merchant and I will go and drop off those 5 dishes he requested. If you watched the previous episode, you will know that on the next day Snake will be arriving and I need to talk to him about getting deeper in the dungeons because we still require for the astrologer the diary from the church's cellar. And also for Snake we will require Necronomicon which we will require from the astrologer himself and well it's kind of connected to each other so I will be definitely forced to work with the two gentlemen. Therefore I'm going to take the five gold star dinners. I will in the meantime, since it's the middle of the night, go and make more of this apple sauce or apple juice, which I will put into the fermentation barrel, so that I have something to drink while I walk around this massive massive map and talk to you guys, cause trust me, having a dry mouth while having to talk is horrible. I honestly don't know how teachers do their job constantly, I would probably need to have like a massive bottle of water with me. Even right now I have a pleasant drink right by my side. And no, it's not alcoholic, I'm, I'm just weird this way on a regular base, even without the use of alcohol. Despite the fact that I've turned the entire church's cellar into one massive brewery. But in order for me to actually brew more beer, I'm gonna kind of need to get something from the zombies. And here is today's sponsor of our video. Welcome to Not Your Professional Walkthroughs Retirement Home, where we put your elderly to good use. Your grandma has been complaining that her back hurts? Well, don't worry. Harvesting wheat for our beer production will definitely change her mind. The fresh air will do her good. So bring her here! No, I'm, I'm, I'm just joking, but can you imagine? Anyhow, the zombies keep producing stuff, and I kind of feel like I need to go and take a look at the zombies over here, because I see them standing there. And I did not receive any shipments of grapes recently. And I know, I know, I can completely make the entire wine production independent from my intervention in any sort of way, make the zombies do all the hard work, but I kind of want to utilize the perks which I have specifically related to the brewing. Which means the brew master or the wine master and more. Therefore, I rather not have someone's granddad or grandma screw around with my wine. So let's put these people to work and let's check our current status of wine. Okay, so apparently you guys can produce quite a lot of it. So. 
How about we put you to some work? Even Silver Star Wine will work for me right now. Okay, th this will be fun for them for a while at least. Now, I actually do have the dishes. And I want to go and drop off the apples, the rope, and the mushrooms. And then I can go talk to the merchant. Hopefully we'll be able to progress further in the story that way. Now before the Stranger Sins DLC was introduced, I do think after you were able to drop off the five dishes off, you were able to start collecting the items or at least the specialized fork which he had, the merchant, as one of the artifacts which you actually required in order for you to return back home to your beloved one. I'm not sure what's the current state of the game right now, and I'm really looking forward to being surprised by that. So how about we drop off this? I can keep the ropes for now. I definitely want to make sure that I will be able to talk to the merchant and give him those five dishes. As he requested, they are all five of a gold star quality, so there should be no issue. Which should get me to the 70 points of reputation. Damn it, I was hoping I would get a gold star story. Okay, since we have actually 70 points of reputation, we can ask him about the final plan. So let's go and do that. Oh my god, am I gonna have to deliver something for Miss Charm again? Okay, I'm gonna need to talk to Miss Charm. How lovely that yesterday was the day when she was in the village. That's gonna be awesome. Now, since I'm actually producing all that wine, I'm gonna grab the grape seeds which he has because obviously money is not an issue for me right now with 26 gold coins. I do have some diamonds, I don't need the gold. Yeah, this is pretty fine. And since we are here and we need to get two more artifacts in order for us to see the visions from the past, there are two people in the sound that I need to talk to. One of them is this guy.
I think I have the preparation done for that. At least I hope so. Okay, so I actually require 40 points of reputation or quality inside of my tavern. Okay. And there is one more person that I need to talk to. And yes, I'm gonna do that actually today since we are waiting for tomorrow when I will be able to talk to Snake. Since I'm here, I'm gonna grab the beeswax. And that last person is the lumberjack. Okay, so there's one of the brothers, but I think we are finally approaching the correct part of the map. Come on, pick up those mushrooms. Since this is where the chopped woods are. So... Ah! Here he is. What's this guy doing here? Oh my god, if he's gonna ask for like one gold coin, I would be more than willing to give it to him. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Why is the beekeeper in here? Okay, this guy is starting to be shady as hell. Yeah, right, buddy. Uh, let's talk about the offer. My god, he sounds like a really bad Batman villain or something. Okay. What? Oh, by the sawmill. Okay. Well, at least we know where the freaking sawmill is. Since these three brothers keep hanging around so close to each other. It's kind of weird, but... I mean... They are family, so what do I know? So the sawmill is basically here. Uh, question is if I can dig up this place. Okay! Apparently I can. I was really afraid he would complain about me digging around his house and kick me out so I would have to come back here during the night or some weird stuff like that. Oh yeah, and since I'm in the town, there is one more thing that I definitely want to get my freaking hands on. I require more... Feathers. Specifically due to the fact that when you are creating pen and ink, well, the pen is basically a feather, and this is the only place where you can get it, so yeah. And since you require three feathers for one recipe of pen and ink, yeah, I'm gonna take everything, since money right now is not an issue. So, will I be able to talk to the beekeeper before the sun sets and he will go back into his home? Take your honey. Wow, for 20 reputation points. Is it actually even possible to poison honey? I mean, you know, the consistency is usually super thick, so how would you mix in the poison? Okay. 
Okay, will I be actually able to finish off all of this right now? That would be one amazing use of a day here. Seriously, don't understand why he had a barrel of honey. Is there such a thing like an aged honey or something? Yeah, the guy is shady as hell. Where? Oh my god. That's the worst Spider-Man ripoff ever. So he's a nutcase. What? Okay, seriously, Hornet Man, Bee Man. <sighs> My God. I mean, there's Ant Man in the MCU, so. And actually, based on the comic books, he was the founding member of the Avengers. But, well, yeah, we have a different timeline in the movies. Our founding member was apparently Tony Stark. Which, I mean, I cannot complain, Robert Downey Jr. did one hell of a job representing him for over 10 years. Kind of sad that he's done. Same way as Hugh Jackman is done being Wolverine. I do wonder if they will ever be able to make another freaking x -Man movie, which will be watchable, and there will be a Wolverine in it, you know? That's gonna be funny. But yeah, let's get back to the game. Okay, so I need to rush back home. The reason why I need to do that is to save up my progress and then be able to talk to Snake about getting deeper in the mines. It's gonna be definitely, well, mines. I, I keep referring to it as mines despite the fact that it's the dungeon below the church. So, once we are done actually, let's take a look at the sales over here. Wow, okay, boxes of goods, nice, gold crates, really nice, silver crates, okay, I think I actually have more vegetables prepared thanks to the zombies, so I should prepare something for another week when we will be able to talk with the merchant. Okay, uh, I just kind of realized I'm carrying around a ton of junk which I should drop off at more appropriate places. Oh, that's a lot of mushroom dishes. Okay, let's save up the progress. And hopefully, I really do hope that Snake will actually freaking show up. Now, when it comes to the Inquisitor. I am still unable to talk to him because I did not get my hands on the dark organs as of yet. Yes, I know, I know, it's taking me forever to show you guys anything fun in this game, but I mean, there's a lot of grinding to be covered, so yeah, I I'm sorry guys. Anyhow, let's go drop off the rest of the things that I currently have at the church's cellar. And then I'm gonna be able to talk to Snake. Hopefully. I really need to talk to the guy. And since I'm here, it would be great to take some water. Okay, this will work for a while. So need to pick up some wheat. 
running super low at the cellar and I'm unable to make more beer. And I know, I know, beer doesn't sell for as much money as the wine, but still, I have the ingredients, I want to burn through them. So that's a gold star quality beer, beautiful. This can be dropped off here, this can be dropped off here, water can be dropped off here as well. Feathers, hemp rope, story, that can be dropped off too. But since I'm coming across this thing and it's getting to the noon, I would really appreciate if Snake would be actually here. Alright you chicken summoning guy, let's talk. Oh, come on, man. Seriously? That, 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 that's it. We, we're, like, done. I, I cannot go to level 11. And that, that, that's it? Wow, this was extremely disappointing. I guess I really need to get my hands on the freaking necklace. Now, the question is, who is the guy who actually has the damn thing? Okay, so Shepard. I think it's the Shepard. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna have to go and try my luck. So let's go drop up this, 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 and this over here. And actually it would be nice if I can find out if I have all the ingredients for the speed potion. I really like using the speed potion. What can I tell you guys? Okay, apparently I am lacking blood. Ha ha ha. Funny, considering what I do here. I actually think I might still have some stashed by the crematorium, but I'm really not sure at this point. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely need to work on getting some bodies and extracting those dark organs. Now, I'm not exactly sure what's the spawn rate on them for each body. I don't think the first body that I will come across will have the dark brain, the dark guts, and the dark heart in it so that I can study them for blue points and then go drop them off to the Inquisitor. But unless I will finally put some carrots into the collection box for Donkey and bribe him to start bringing in more corpses, I will not find out. Plus, I do need more corpses in order to actually level up the damn graveyard. I mean, sure, in one of the previous episodes I was able to finally upgrade the fence to have the stone fence, but it's gonna take me only so far. Where is this boy? Yeah, this is apparently not him. So who do we need to talk about the necklace then? And also I need to check the state of the inn. Trades fishing. Yeah, I still haven't dropped off a gold star beer to Hradric? How is that even possible? Okay, I honestly have zero idea who in the world to talk to about the damn necklace. Uh, okay, so since I'm here, how about I go into our inn cellar? A pick up one gold star quality beer. I do believe I dropped off few of them. Hopefully not all of them have been yet sold. Okay, this is looking bad. Okay, apparently not. So 40 reputation points. 
And I have 22. God darn it. Okay, 45 red wines have been sold recently. And I've earned 1 gold coin, 12 silvers, and 50 coppers. Ah, that's just ridiculous. How in the world will I get my place to higher reputation? I have both of the tavern tables installed. There is not that much more room for me to expand. Okay, I can actually upgrade the damn tavern now. Okay, so we need 30 wooden planks, 30 pieces of stone, and 12 simple iron parts. Okay, okay, now we know what we are dealing with. And thankfully, the innkeeper of the death horse is always working, so I don't have to be afraid. Like, for example, in Stardew Valley, that at certain days or something, I will not be able to catch him. So let's go give him that gold star beer. Thank you! Oh my god, am I actually gonna be able to make meat here? Yeah, and thanks to the use of the speed potion, I totally stopped to use the teleport stone. So that's fun. But yeah, let's go and take a look at the recipe. Okay, so we see now that there is a reason why these were on a display here. And this is the special recipe. Let's use it. Okay, we are actually now able to craft mead. I did always wonder why in the world is there so much honey and I'm not able to turn it into something better. I mean, the artisanal products are what's selling best in this game, apparently. Anyhow, I definitely need to check in case the zombies have brought in some of this goodness that oh cool okay so we are talking one silver star oh yes that's a lot of gold star juice that is just perfect that is just perfect especially due to the fact that i have nothing else to sell currently at the tavern and i definitely need to have more of this prepared so I'm gonna have to mix up one gold star and one silver star, unfortunately. But thanks to the use of the perk, it should still end up as a gold star quality item. Fingers crossed. Plus I can take in all this. Ooh, look at this. Actually, meat requires even hops. But that's fun. So let's make some meat. I do want to create meat due to one thing. I want to see if meat can be sold at our tavern. And since I'm here, now I don't want to make ton of bread, unfortunately. What I do want to do, however, is take those items which I require to upgrade the tavern itself. So I actually require 30 of these. I need to make like a whole lot of wooden planks and let's see what else what else I'm looking for simple iron parts the fun thing is that it actually requires only six of these while it wants like 30 wooden planks or something so that's that's kind of funny but then again at least I will burn through a massive reserve of all this wood which I have here so that is awesome. Which will actually... I, I haven't seen yet the upgraded form of the tavern. So I don't know how many more tables will I be able to put in. And if I will expand the area of the inn. I will require for example more fate points. 
or more reputation points in order for me to have their some of the shows. You know, like the stand up or having Miss Charm sing, like on the start of this episode. Man, I love this potion. Seriously, triple shot espresso from Stardew Valley is nothing on this thing. Okay, let's load in the beer. Let's load in the wine. Because we are running super low, so I need at least something to be sold. I can drop off the belt buckle over here so that I don't have to run around with it like a complete goofball. And look at it, mug of beer. This has been processed, red wine is selling like crazy. Damn it! Okay, I misread the recipe, I do apologize. So what I require is 30 of these, 30 of these, 6 of these. Yeah, I don't know why I keep the firewood here, because nobody freaking wants any food here. So I still don't understand the purpose of the kitchen. Anyone, if you are playing Graveyard Keeper, were you ever able to sell any food at your tavern? Please do let me know. And in case you were actually able to do so, please also let me know what was the specific dish and what was the quality of said dish. Okay, we need more water once again. The most annoying thing about this entire brewing procedure is that I'm burning through water like crazy. Okay, now we have the damn water. I really wonder if the actual meat will be able to be sold at the tavern. Uh, so the simple iron parts, correct? So we need six more. Let's go grab that. Let's go drop you off. Let's go load up the firewood into the furnaces. Let's go with like 80. Oh my god. And this is one thing which I truly hate. If I accidentally start off a process, there's no way for me to actually stop it. Even in the real world, once you do something or put something somewhere, even if it's, I don't know, food into the oven, you are still able to actually pull out the damn thing before it starts cooking, in case you forgot to put in something else. So why in the world isn't there the option to pull out <laughs> all the comments in the comment section might be horrible now. Why can't you just stop the process like few seconds after you misclick on something? By an accident, for example. I still hate this on the game because oftentimes it happens to me that by accident I put in something and I am unable to reverse it. Okay, so we require these items. So just so that we know, right now if I want to do something, I require this much stuff for any of the shows. I do wonder if there will be actually more options for me to participate in certain shows. Okay, let's upgrade this puppy. Wow, this place looks amazing now. But I don't see more place for another table. Okay, there are two more places, I do believe. So I require even more wooden planks and more nails. I do wonder if I want to invest into the barrels as well. And unfortunately, I don't see any change here. So there are only three shows that we can well have here at the tavern. That's gonna suck. Okay, tell me about alcohol palettes, reputation and events, about the greeter. 
What do you mean, I'm undead? Okay, so if I don't keep any inventory at his person, it's fine. The items are being sold, but I had to kind of kick this lady away because she was blocking me to exit. Okay, so I require flitch and planks and ton of nails. Let's go get that. I want to load in as much furniture from IKEA as possible. And if that means me burning through all the wood reserves which I have currently, I don't mind because the zombies keep carrying in more and more. So, yeah. Let's go build those more tables. It, actually, I would appreciate if I can store even more booze now at the tavern. Just due to the fact that, uh, well, obviously, I will be able to serve more customers, hopefully. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Okay, I actually have a ton of booze on me, but I can carry more. Wow, I actually have lots of this stuff. That's cool. So, what do we need? What do we need? I actually... Have these, have these. I do believe I have somewhere like a ton of nails. Yep. Uh, yeah, I would definitely love to make more wooden planks. Okay, I have 80 gold star wine currently on me. If this stuff is sold at the tavern once there are more tables, whew, that's gonna be fun. And I really do wonder if I will be actually able to sell the mead. Because if I will not be able to sell it, then I'm gonna be kind of disappointed that it's here as an alcohol. We are able to sell alcohol at the tavern, yet the people are not willing to drink it. Because this way I'm at least burning through the hops and I'm also burning through the honey reserve and I don't want to be making ton of... the same items just so that I fulfill the needs of the villagers. Okay, so let's load in the wine for the production or the juice That will be I think 40 gold star wine Let's use the speed potion Let's load up the Pallets with ton of booze so that the villagers can drink some proper alcohol at least the alcohol has no body parts in it from the recently diseased. That would be awful. Okay, so now actually we are full. Question is if I can load in some of this booze and if it would be sold. It's 20, that's 20. Ah, uh, sure, let's put in this as well. Oh, I have so much alcohol right now down here. It's crazy. Okay, we are at reputation of 30 points, and red wine is the only thing which is being sold currently. That's funny. Okay, so tavern table, one, and a two. And the barrels. That's one, that's two. Is that it? Seriously? Okay, that's kind of disappointing. Let's construct this IKEA furniture. Okay, okay, I like that. We are increasing the reputation points. Okay, and it's an achievement. Well-known skull. A silver skull for our inn. Man, I really hope more people will start to show up so that I can get more reputation points. It really sucks that they only created three events for the people.
Okay, but since it's actually day now... How about we go talk to the guy responsible for the... Shards... Or in charge of them. Is he out yet? No, it's super early, I assume. Come on, dude. Come on. Get out. Come on. We're burning daylight here. So he wanted 40 points. We are there. What else? Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to return here at night. That's not creepy at all. Okay, but anyhow, since we have daylight or day, I'm gonna go talk to the farmer. Where in the world is this guy? You're a farmer, you're supposed to be up before the roosters are even up yelling and trying to wake up the people come on man seriously oh actually he's inside it's funny that now I can actually enter his home the reason why I want to talk to him is in order for me to get more silver star seats So what I'm gonna do actually right now is go put in the seeds to the zombies. I'm gonna make maybe a crate or two. I'm gonna go, you know what? I'm gonna go and check on the zombies producing grapes here because yeah, that's exactly what I was afraid of. Let's give you two of these. Let's give you three of these. Let's give you one of this. Ah, let's give you two of these. And do we have any seeds for you? Nope. Okay. So I can drop off the flitch, the blanks, the nails, whatever. I carry currently. Actually, I'm starting to stack up a ton of marble here. I should start working on some marble gravestones and stuff like that so that I burn through the reserve at least let's put in 70 yeah I would have to break apart the iron ore really don't want to bother with that right now there are other fish to be fried so let's drop off this The seeds, the seeds. Yeah, you see the zombies? They are not working. Let's go with two pumpkins. No, let's drop you down. Lentils, sure, why not? Full of fiber. Let's drop. My god, are these things full? That's a ton of wheat, man. And there's more on the way. So let's grab some more water. Oh fudge, I'm gonna have to rush to the town. Oh my god, I did not drop off the seeds. Ah! Horrible. Let's make some beer. I know for sure that this stuff is actually being sold. I still have not seen any sales for the mead. And let's go to the town. Yeah, I know this episode is starting to be a bit longer. But I wanted to show you some more fun content, so what the heck. Still apparently too early. And so 
Okay. Let's go and see if actually any meat has been sold. People are starting to walk back home. So soon, hopefully, I will be... Ooh, it actually looks bigger. That's fun. And it looks like there's just overall more people now. Tavern upgrade bonus. Six freaking silver, 16 coppers. Okay, I think, however, this will be like a one-time bonus, so... I'm not actually relying that this will keep repeating itself. The boost so far is kind of standing there, so... Yeah, that's not anything amazing. Let's go back into the town. Oh my god, you're supposed to be home. I cannot trade with you, you are not going back into the house. How am I supposed to catch whoever is responsible for the shenanigans at night? Let's see. Where is this guy? Approach to Adam's home at night. It's gonna be midnight. Soon even the bats would despawn. I, I don't see anything. Nothing by the outhouse. Nothing here by the clay pots. These holes where you can actually extract raw clay. Nothing. I need 40 reputations with Adam in order to get in. This guy is still not going back home. Am I doing something incorrectly? Whispering by the window. Yeah, dude, like, come on, you're supposed to go home. Or something. Okay, he finally went in at midnight. Door is locked. Oh my god, were you seriously the one who is scaring? Oh my god, man. Yeah, well, how about you knock it off? Oh my god, why do I feel like that's gonna bite me in the ass later on in the game? Okay, and the most fun thing is right now that I kind of need to go and prep for a sermon. So, okay, let's do the following thing. 
We have only two items stored at the shop. I'm quite sure I have a ton of stuff prepared. Okay. These I will be able to make more wine here. Man, these zombies are amazing at producing this stuff. Okay. Yeah, once again, out of water, huh? Let's save up the progress. I will do the sermon. Then I'm gonna talk to Adam. And that will be the end of today's episode. On the next one, I will show you the two visions from the two artifacts. Once again, probably I will do it in one of the like in one of the previous episodes where I showed one of the visions at the start and one of the visions at the end of said episode. That way people will be actually forced to watch the damn stuff. And I kind of do need the time watched on the episodes because right now my episodes are not showing on like the front pages of YouTube for Graveyard Keeper. Trust me, I looked. It's really hard to try and break into the YouTube video game world. <sighs> yeah, it, it, it's a toughie. Anyhow, we need to do the sermon. So let's go grab our prayer. Let's go grab our incense. One, two, three, four. Or you know what? Yeah, let's sure. Let, let's. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh my god, I'm gonna definitely need to get my hands on more candles. That's definitely a bad thing. That is definitely a bad thing. Ooh, there's someone inside of the confession. No. So let's go. Hopefully, there will be. Damn it! I was hoping for a gold star quality one. I really need it in order to proceed further with Miss Charm, and she's not making it easy on me. Oh my god, did I forget to take the damn prayer? So, gold star quality. Man, you guys recall the first episode when he started the sermon by talking about Star Wars? That was so much fun. And that was so long ago. My god, I actually started this channel with Graveyard Keeper. What fun memories. Okay, well, people seem to love the sermon. <laughs> I kind of wonder if I can sell some beer or wine here at the church, too. That would be fun. And for this sermon specifically, we earned 47 fate points. That is unless some of those fate points were from the confessioner, so... Yeah, that's also a possibility. Unfortunately, I still don't have enough reputation with the bishop in order for me to sell him silver star prayers, which totally stinks. Anyhow, we are now done here, which means I'm gonna use the speed potion. I am going to go and talk to Adam. That way we should get our hands on the shards. And if that is true, then I will have stuff prepared for the next episode. So make sure to subscribe so you know when the episode will be published. I'm quite sure Adam has no idea what bipolar disorder is.
Are you kidding me? Oh my god, you are one weird cookie. Anyhow, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. It's a bit longer one, but we had to cover a ton of ground in order to prepare for the next two artifacts, which I currently have in my positions, and therefore, on the next publishing of Graveyard Keeper, I will be able to show you lovely two visions here with Gary. Therefore, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click the notification or the bell icon so you will know when the episodes are out. I publish videos 5 days a week from Monday till Friday. Therefore, if you will consider subscribing to me, well, you will have ton of fun stuff to watch. And also, I would so much appreciate if you can click the like button. It's not for my ego. It will help to get the videos more out there so that more people can come across my channel and I can create more of a community around the titles that I do enjoy and want to have some discussions about. So, please click the like button and I will see you on the next episode. Till then, I wish you all the best here from Not Your Professional Walkthroughs and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye guys!